we're here on Pacific Coast Highway, just north of Malibu, and uh, it's a beautiful day, and we're just about to turn off of PCH onto Encinal Canyon Road and go on up into the Santa Monica Mountains National Park or State Park and take a look at Charlie Park, one of my favorite uh, botanical hot zones. We're about, I would call it, a thousand feet up on Tabasco Road, overlooking the Malibu Zuma Peninsula there. And it's a beautiful day. And you come up into the hills here, and it rises up about to about 1,800 feet, I guess. Here's the entrance. John Lee Wilderness Park, and uh, I've spent a lot of time here. This is my favorite, uh, you know, it's, there's a number of parks that comprise Santa Monica Mountains State Parks and National Park System. And uh, they have trails, they have some overnight camping, but this is a particularly nice one because you've got this uh, wide variety of native botanical resources on this uh, mountain above the sea. So you're, we're inside the park, but uh, when you look, we're looking to the west and southwest along the ridges. Quite a bit of that near the coast here is private land. The private land uh, has a kind of a checkerboard effect on the edge of the park. And uh, of course, people out here are very well to do because to develop a property out here takes a lot of money. And we're panning down and that that uh, what appears to be a distant mountain uh, out across the ocean there. Let's see if I can get it for you. Yep. That is Catalina Island, I believe. Beautiful winter day here. And uh, some of these uh, coastal oaks, these co coastal scrub oaks are just stunning. I don't know, 200, 300 years old, maybe older. This is one of the picnic areas of the park. What you have here is a demonstration garden uh, landscaped by the park uh, rangers, by the park employees of the, a wide variety of the native plants of Santa Monica uh, Mountains. You've got uh, sage and you've got uh, chumash and uh, this is the, the uh, legend or uh, diagram of the Charmley Wilderness Park Native Garden. And I don't know that I can get a good shot. It's kind of uh, bleached out by the sun. And uh, the garden is rather overgrown. But they've made an effort to let people learn about the native plants. So we, we've got some manzanitas, some ceanthus, some yucca, some apuntias, and uh, looks like some kind of a laurel, I don't know, manzanita, sage, lots of good stuff in here. Maybe one of the best things about this park is how quiet it is up here. 
your distant car now and then, a couple woodpeckers, but it's a great place to come and uh, meditate. It's only about 40 minutes outside the insanity of Los Angeles. Beautiful native Apuntia back there, uh, beyond what looks like a very large Ceanathus, which has dropped its leaves for the winter. Wouldn't be a native California park or landscape without the requisite sycamores. And these are uh, these get to be very old, very large, fantastic trees. They withstand all the uh, drought in California. And but people sometimes make a mistake of planting them close to a house. And if they're even within sort of 50 feet of a house, the roots will seek out and destroy your plumbing. These are great trees. Don't put them near your house. And so here is a uh, photographic map or legend of the park itself. I'm not sure how big it is, but the uh, park is, of course, this Charmley Park, Charmley Wilderness Park. It's surrounded by private property to the south and west, and then to the north and east is the state or national park. Some printed information about the wildlife and how to be careful. Some safety tips about rattler snakes and uh, mountain lions. Not that you would see them very often, but they're out here. And uh, here's an example of one of these fantastic private residences, properties across from the park. They've got like a huge, looks like a, a soccer field or just a grass area. 